your own content, or maybe especially your own content, that's sitting in a cloud. Um, that's something that obviously you have to have access to. Um, but I don't think anybody disagrees with that. The question that you ask is, do we, new, do we need new and separate regulation or related to networks uh, because of the cloud? I think that the, it's, it's essentially the same framework, and I'm not sure that it raises new issues other than the basic principle of having access to any information that's over the net and you have access to that content. You raised the question about the, whether there should be new competition regulation limiting the vertical integration of, the, uh, of who provides and builds data centers and cloud services. I think that at this point, that would be extremely counterproductive because we really today don't know what the eventual model will be for cloud and data center. You do want to be concerned if there is not the end user access through an open internet to all of the cloud services or data services that they may want. But that's not a question that is no different than the existing, existing questions. To me, more importantly, the question that you ask that you imply is about the networks themselves. And the, there is a need, which is again a separate discussion about, but it goes back to the broadband question, the need to have managed networks because different cloud services are going to require different network characteristics. If, it's, if I'm having an enterprise or a large data center where I have university machine to machine talking at very high data rates, real time symmetric, I need a different network access and configuration than if I am accessing content that's already been processed and I want to bring it back. So the need to have differentially managed network capacity and capabilities to match the needs of what's going on in the data centers, I think, is extremely important. Thank you.